Tom asks this. This is why it went so fast from that question to this one. Is the clean and press the perfect exercise? Now, he goes at it a different way, but I was just going to say yes and move on to the next question. Under your framework of hinge, squat, push, pull, loaded, carry, a well-executed clean and press or clean and jerk too has every single one of them, especially if the clean is done Olympic style. So a, a squat stand up. The hinge, squat, and push are obviously there, but also the loaded carry in the rack position and locked out overhead. The only iffy one is the pull. Okay, he's about to say the same thing I always say. If you do power cleans, you're getting your pulls in. This movement here is a pull. Uh, if someone did nothing but six to 10 solidly heavy reps of clean and press or clean and jerk twice a week and perhaps some pull-ups, Interesting, interesting addition there, Tom, hats off to you. I bet they would build a serious physique and athleticism with a minimum uh, time in the gym. Do you agree, is there anything missing? Well, on what you said, I would just say, I would still do the suitcase carry of the farmer walk, but listen, if you go back to Pavel's book, Enter the Kettlebell, by the way, the forward in that book is considered still to be the the, probably the best written prose since Shakespeare. Uh, in his program called The Rite of Passage, it's clean and press left hand, clean and press right hand, pull up. Your formula. And he does ladders. One, clean and press left hand, clean and press right hand. One, one, one. Then it's two, two, two. Three, 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 four, 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 five, five, five. When I was preparing for the RKC years ago, all I have is a 28 kilo kettlebell. Oh, and then after those workouts, you do uh, two days a week, you do swings, and one day a week, you do snatches. When I built up to 75, so that's one, two, three, four, five, five rounds of that, 75 clean and press left, 75 clean and press right, and 75 pull ups, I really felt like I was ready for anything. I looked good, I felt good, and I really did. I, I, I had no real issues with the RKC. And this back when it was very brutal, three days, San Jose sun, swings, probably 10 to 12 rounds of 10 to 20 an hour. I mean, probably in a day, and I don't think I'm exaggerating, a thousand swings, it was a little bit too much. When we did the uh, the snatch, we did that. We did the Viking Warrior Protocol, where we we did it for 25 minutes. Whatever 14 times 25 is the number of snatches I did with the 24 kilo bell. I mean, come on, that's a lot. But I think this workout prepared me for it. Back in the 1960s, Tom, many people I knew, many articles I read in the Strength and Health magazines. All people did sometimes would go in the gym and clean and press. Now, when I say clean and press, I, I mean I mean both kinds. Clean and press, clean and press, clean and press, clean and press, or clean and press, 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 press. Um, when I was preparing for the to break to finally get a 300 pound clean, I found that uh, early in the prep, clean and press, clean and press, clean and press really helped me just kind of prepare the platform for the for the for the attempt but by the time i was getting close and the loads were getting big i was doing clean and press 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 sorry to make that sometimes if i say something uh, uh on our podcast i got to make sure i add that little extra level of clarity because otherwise you, you may misunderstand what i'm trying to say <sighs> the rite of passage is clean and press pull-ups swings and or snatches i would still add the suitcase carrier or something like that to it because i can't help myself is that a pretty good program tom i don't know if you could do a better program than that for most of our listeners for most of the time something along those lines and it gets us back to the question before if you're working your glutes with the swing the snatch the hip thrust the kettlebell swing the kettlebell snatch the hip thrust the back squat the front squat the overhead squat the deadlift family and you're doing vertical presses, toss and pull-ups. Why, wow, that's that's good. That's really good. Remember my standard? Pretty good is the highest standard. 
I think you're nailing it there. Tom, I like this idea. Again, I've had people online hear me say something like, or read me say something like that, and then later on, I did this and I hate it. Okay, not everyone's designed to do simple programs. Not everyone's designed to do stuff for, like I told my students today for the millionth time, everything works. Everything works for about six weeks. So if you can do this for six weeks, I think you're gonna be way ahead of the curve. Excellent, great question, thank you. 